Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a blessed day, everyone. Welcome, welcome. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's, and thank you all for joining me today. Happy Saturday. Oh, my goodness. I just came back from an estate sale before, and I need to show you all my finds. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. It was a great one. It was a great one. And today here in New Jersey, it is a pouring, pouring, rainy day. So what is better than a poor and rainy day to go to an estate sale and see what you can find. Hello, everybody. And if you're watching this and you don't see that red live button up on the corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, so I know that you're watching. I could say hello to you. And even on the replay, if you're new, let me know that you're new so I can welcome you guys. Hey, Angie Champagne, how are you? Happy Saturday, everyone. I went to an estate sale. Got all this great stuff here. Um, I just want to show you. Hi, Connie from South Carolina. Hello, Mary Harris. How are you? Thank you for the hearts, everybody. You know what happens with the hearts. It lets our fancy friends know we are live and they can join us. You went to two of them, Angie? What did you get? I hope you got something great. Hey, Jude, how are you? Actually, this estate sale was yesterday. I owe it all to my sister, Carrie. You know who she is. She's the one who finds me all these great stuff. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Nancy. She went to it yesterday and she said, Kim, I got a lot of stuff. And I said, oh my God, is it today too? Saturday? She goes, yes. So I said, I have to be there. Hey, Judy. Hello, everybody. Everybody, welcome Judy to our page. Hello, Helena from Portugal. How are you? Welcome Judy to our Fancy Friends page, everyone. Hello, Connie from Florida. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. So let's begin. Let me show you what I got from my estate sale I went with. Hey, Terry, I went to an estate sale today. Got a lot of good, good, a lot of good crap. <laughs> I don't know. I, that, that's what I, that's what, what I was saying to my sister today. Oh my God. Hi, Terry. How are you? Hello, Kim Robertson. How are you? Okay, so let me show you. This is just some of the stuff. I couldn't bring it all up, but we will be working with all the stuff. We'll be creating with all this, so you'll get to see everything one of these days. Quilts and so much more. Yay! All right, so let me show you this, guys. <gasps> look! It's an old strainer. Guys, look at the rust on there. Oh, look at the goodness. Look at the rusty goodness on there. <gasps> look, look, look. Oh my goodness, my thoughts were what you can do with this. And guys, if you see something that I'm showing you, hello, Kathleen. If you see something here and you have a great idea for it, let me know. Ornament will be mailed on Monday. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. Hello, Charlene. This, I thought, what a great planter. Oh, planter. It's got the holes in it already. Now, I don't think, I wouldn't put the dirt in there. I'm afraid even though it's a fine, you know, a mesh, um, I don't know. Let me know. You think the dirt will go through here? I think. So I was going to get one of those, um, those pre-made, um, like the peat moss ones and then put a plant in it and keep it outside. Hello, Linda Benson from rainy Connecticut. you got the same weather here that we have in New Jersey. So I thought, what a great idea for a planter. You put that, your plant in there and it doesn't matter if it even rusts even more and keep it outside. Wouldn't that look so cute? Look at it. I, and I just love that it's even broken. Hello, Melody. So, love it. Actually, this is one of the things that my sister found for me the first day she went. Isn't that so cool? <gasps> yeah, the dirt would go through. I think so too, Terry. I wasn't sure. So, you know, those little, you know, those little um, ones that they sell, you can find them anywhere. I even think that Dollar Tree has them that you can fit in here and then you put your plants in there. Coconut husk liner, is that what it's called, Angie? Okay. So that's what I'm gonna put in here and put a plant. It's gonna go right on my deck and I think it's gonna be so darn stinking cute. I even maybe a little tag hanging off or something. Whatever kind of plant if I put in here, I can put the name of the plant. I don't know, but that's cute, right? Okay, so there's one. And then look, guys. <laughs> hey, Edith, how are you? Look, guys. It's a cowbell. <gasps> look at that. How old do you think that cowbell is? Look at the look at the corrosion. <laughs> The antiquiness, I shouldn't say corrosion. The antiquiness of it. Look, oh my God. Look how cute. Look at that. See? Oh my God. My sister Carrie got me this one. Couldn't pass it up. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? Guys, I love it. Isn't that awesome? Look at the rust. And on it, and it's all corroded. Oh, I, I'm in love. Look at that. Oh my God. So I might have to keep this here. Good morning, fancy friends. Good morning, fancy friends. Oh, I think 
going to keep it here. This is going to be our Fancy Friends bell. Good morning. Good morning, Fancy Friends. <laughs> you love it, Terry? We're, oh, I think we're going to keep this as our Fancy Friends bell. Good morning, everyone. Now it's good afternoon. Good afternoon, Fancy Friends. <gasps> All right, yeah, we're going to keep that for ourselves. That's going to be our bell for us. <laughs> All right, then look at this pot. Oh, my gosh. Look, look, look. Look at the rust. Hey, Patty, Bradley, how are you? Look at that. It's got some, look at that. It's worn off here. It's one of these like enamel pots, guys. It's enamel. It's got, look at all, look at all the rust on there. Oh my gosh, isn't that the best? Look at all the rust. Thank you everybody for the hearts. I appreciate it. That makes our video go out even more. So some of the people who are not getting our notifications will come and join us. A pretty transfer on it. I know, Terry. Pretty transfer. I'm even thinking, guys, um, for a planter, maybe, right? A planter for the kitchen. You put a plant in there and then keep it on your, like I have a bay window in my kitchen. I could even put it in my bay window, but look, I don't know. I love it. I know, Patty. Aren't they awesome finds? It was, there was, a, uh, it was older people who lived there and I don't know if they passed away or not, or they just moved and their son was selling their home and their son was just like, let's get rid of everything. And he was like, throw that in the cart. No, just take it. He was just telling me, just take it. Just throw it in your bag. Just take it. Just take it. I'm like, what? Just, just take it. I'm like, oh, all right. All right. And then I just thought this is an old, look at that. See an old cutting board. Look, they don't make them. When you see the cutting boards, in the stores anymore they don't make them like that you know with the with the nail heads in them and everything like that so look at that we can make something wonderful out of that anytime i can find old pieces of wood like that i love it and then i thought this is such a cute box look at look the tongue and groove isn't that amazing this is an old old box you can tell look at the tongue and groove in there guys and it look i don't know it's kind of dirty inside i don't know what it, it looks like there's dirt in it but i don't care I know we can clean the dirt out. And I thought this was gonna be really pretty. We have, I showed you some decoupage queen papers that have tomatoes on there and stuff like that. And I thought how cute um, to make this like a board, like, I mean, like a box, um, like a vegetable box, a vegetable box. That, that was my, that, that is my idea for this. But I just, I mean, look at that. And my sister Carrie got me this yesterday and there was a bunch of them, she said, and I went back today of course, they were already gone. They were gone, of course, right? Who's going to pass up a beautiful old box like that? Nobody. All right, so there we go for that. Then look how cute, guys. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this a dark? Isn't this, isn't this so stinking cute? Look at this. Now, it doesn't rock. It stays steady, which is nice. But isn't that cute, guys? Can you imagine that? It's dovetailed. What did I say? Ducktailed? I thought it was ducktailed. No, that is the ribbon. <laughs> dovetailed. Thank you. If ducktailed is ribbon, I appreciate you letting me know. Um, so I just thought that was just cute. And this would be really pretty. Um, I'm thinking decoupage or something like that. And you can I can make this into like a table centerpiece. Wouldn't that be cool, right? I know. I have so many ideas for all this stuff, but I'm even thinking a table centerpiece. And then look at these cool things that they had. A doll cradle. Yeah, it is. It was so cute. But I'm thinking for um, a centerpiece or something. But look what they had. I don't know, guys. Look at these. Thought these were cute. They just had these. Here. <gasps> look. And they are antique color. Look at this. A little girl's dress with the hanger. A little boy's outfit, right? <gasps> Candles and florals. Right, Terry? Right? And then maybe these inside of there, making this like, I don't know, my ideas are spinning. The candles, the florals, putting these in there since it's like, since it is, you know, a cradle, putting these in there. I don't know, but I saw these. He said, throw them in your container for free. I'm like, okay. <gasps> right? Aren't they? I couldn't pass these up. But they didn't have they didn't have a price tag on it, so I said I don't know how much these are, and it was the it was the gentleman who owned you know who lived in the house, and he says I'll oh, just take them. I'm like you've got to be kidding me, but isn't aren't I just love the little girls? So cute, right? Okay, so we're gonna do something with that. So let's put that down there. We have lots of projects, ladies. I'm so excited. I don't want to get these dirty, so let me put these here for now. Then they had a ton, a ton of 
doilies. Look how beautiful. Look like a baptism outfit. Yes, it does, Angie. It sure does. It's just really, it's just so, it's just beautiful. Oh my God, just beautiful. So they, she had two of these. There was a bunch of them. And I always try to get ones that look a little different than the normal ones I see. And this one, these look different. Ah, oh, thank you, Barbara. It was, it's so much fun to go out and you find all fun stuff. Now, this is pretty ordinary, but I liked it because it's already coffee and tea stained. Love that. Now, look at these. There's two of these. Oh, look how pretty those look. Oh, how pretty. Look at these. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Look at, the, now I got this one for the size. Look how pretty that one is, right? And then look at the detailing in that. And this one is also, I don't know if it does it good on this, on the, the, um, on my camera, but it is tea stained. Look how pretty. And then this one too, wait, is this the, oh, I don't even know. These are, oh, they are the same, I got two the same. <gasps> Look at that, aren't they pretty? This is another one, well, there were stacks of them, and I just picked out a few because there were no prices on them, right? I go to check out with these and these, and I said to the gentleman, how much for these? And he goes, oh, it's just throw them in your thing, it's on me. I'm like, you're kidding. I was like, oh my God, I was so, um, I was amazed. I'm like, I said, it's, it's a blessing. I told him, I said, I will, you know what I do and I will be making these as projects. And he was so happy that they were going to be, get to some good use, right? So, um, isn't that, I mean, I just think that's, so that was unbelievably kind of him. And then look at this. Okay, wait, first, look at this old whisk. Look at all the rust on there. Now I know you can find these anywhere, but this is with all the, is it very, very old with all the rust on there. So this is an old whisk. And then look at this pot. <gasps> look at this crock. I love this crock. Love it, love it, love it. Isn't this so cute? Yeah, <gasps> They don't, he was probably like, get rid of my mom's crochet doilies. He probably doesn't even think they're nice looking, right? Just get rid of it. He, this is what the man wanted to do. He just wanted to get rid of everything. He didn't want to get any, have to take anything out of the house. So guys, wouldn't this be so pretty to do? And then when I saw this, I thought maybe something for the kitchen and then make a pretty um, tassel or something connecting connecting this old um, whisk with it, right? I thought it would be perfect. Oh, this is what they call the bean pot? Okay, thank you, Kim Robertson. I didn't know. I just, some kind of a crock. So it's a bean pot. It actually has a full name, a bean pot. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Bean pot. Thank you. I didn't know there was a name for it. I just thought it was just a crockery pot. But wouldn't that be cute, right? Get antique kitchen utensils for the crock. Yes, Terry. And then put that all out there. Have this hanging off of it. I thought that'd be so, so stinking cute, right? So got that. So let's put that in there. I'm running out of room here on my floor. Now this is not an antique, but look how cute this is, right? It's, I love it because it's white. Hello, Kathy, your fancy leaders here. I'm just, you might have missed it. I'm just showing you all the stuff that I got at an estate sale today. But look how cute this is. I could put a real flower in there or some kind of an arrangement or whatever you want, but I thought this is gonna be really pretty to decoupage with, right? Um, maybe decoupage the wings, you know, one thing and then maybe this uh paint this maybe um my vintage moss color with some white wax i don't know but i, I don't know i just thought this was really cute and it was only a dollar how could you pass that up for a dollar and i love it because it can lay like this on an edge of something so wouldn't that be pretty <gasps> love the pot you love the pot sharon me too me too so excited and especially when the man was so generous with his stuff He's like, just take it, just take it. Don't worry about it, just take it. He's just telling me, just take it. So anyway, so let me show you my last thing I got. And that's what we're gonna do a real quick, not real quick, but a, um, a project with. Okay, so we got our eggs. Now I'm not doing something that's gonna scream Easter, but it's gonna, it's gonna say spring. So I can leave it out a little bit longer than just Easter time. So got this also, look at this. It's a cast iron pot, right? And look at the back, look, I mean, look at all the markings on it and look how it's all vintaged up already. What is it? There's a number on it. What does it say? It says number three. Hmm, I don't know what that means. There's a number right here. I just saw it. It says number three. I'm seeing if there's any other markings on it that would say 
anything about it. But look at it. It's all grunged up and ready for me to use. Hello, Lorelei. How are you? Isn't that, look at that. <gasps> Love it. Look at the sides. It looks like it was been on a, like, um, an outdoor, you know, like a grill. If they were grilling outside, like in a campfire, right? That's what it looks like. So my idea was, let's make this into a cute little thing for your kitchen, for your spring, um, some spring decor. And I'm gonna, it's gonna be something where um, I can mix and match. I can take these eggs out and everything else I'm gonna put in it. And if I wanna change it over to summertime, then I just add my some summer stuff into it. So that's it. All right, so let me show you what, what my plan is. All right, so I'm just gonna take some, hello everybody, welcome. Hello Alita, hello Marilyn. Now I'm just taking some moss. This is moss from, um, this is the Walmart moss. I like it, I like the color of it. Um, the one in the, I, the Dollar Tree I got, it just didn't have a pretty color to it. So I'm liking this one, oh, it's called Spanish moss. Harry, you just missed it. I just showed um, what I got from the estate sale. This is the one, this is one of the things that Mrs. Carrie got me. Carrie, we're making a project out of that. So thank you, Carrie, for going yesterday. If my sister Carrie didn't go yesterday, I wouldn't have known about it. So uh, I have this all to, I have to thank this for because of her. Hello, Maria from the UK. How are you? All right, so let's open the moss up. All right, and then... This is the candle, remember? Um, I got this candle from that uh, place in Pennsylvania called Little Primitives, and I love this candle. And once you, it's it's wax, and I love it because it's not a timer. Okay, so what, whatever time is it now? Okay, it's three o'clock. You put your candle, your battery in it. Once you put your battery in, I did put it in the wrong, once you put your battery in, that's the time it will light up every single day. And it'll light, 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 up, light, up, light up for four hours. I'm putting in the candle in backwards, there we go. So if I keep this, come on, if I keep this, there we go. Keep this on like this every day at three o'clock, it'll stay on for four hours. <gasps> Isn't this, and look, I don't know if you can see the thing, but see how it, it flickers. It does, there we go. See how it flickers? How cool is that? You don't like the feel of cast iron? I know, it's kind of had like a grungy feel. But once you finish doing your project, you're not gonna feel it anymore. Now, I wanna put this, now I got this at a store. It was like $2, but I needed something to keep the candle in. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this and then put the moss around it. I'll put the moss down and um, put that on top. So let's see what we're gonna do. You're doing good, thank you. I'm so glad everybody's doing good. And oh gosh, please everybody, I meant to say this before, please say a prayer for everybody in Mississippi today um, with that door, that tornado that went through. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, Mississippi needs our prayers more than ever today. So um, I know the count of the people who have passed away is going up. So if we can please keep the people in Mississippi in our prayers, okay? Um, I would appreciate it. I bought one of those candles from there too. Oh, did you, Patty? Good. Yeah, and I, you know what? I just got another one too. This is the four inch. I just ordered the um, seven inch because I figured if I want to do a vignette and have one smaller and another candle a little higher, that would be pretty. So, okay, so let's, this stuff is a mess. The only thing where I don't, anybody feel the same way as me? You hate to work with this stuff. It just makes a mess. And I just cleaned up my spot the other day. Oh, prayers, right? Thank you, Carolyn. Yes, the prayers. Oh my gosh. And especially it happened in the night and with the darkness and nobody could see. And oh my gosh, I just, I just can't imagine. So uh, just please keep them all in your prayers. What is, I, I didn't even realize the devastation until I woke up this morning and um, saw it. All right, let me, while uh, this is here, let me just get all this out of the way. The, the big old mess. But it's, they really got hit hard, really got hit hard. Yeah, thank you, Barbara. What is the name of the place? Um, little little primitive vill uh, little little village primitives. Little village primitives. They are out of Pennsylvania. They are out of, they are located in Pennsylvania. So, but I mean, gosh, look how cute already, guys! It's like a little nest. And let me see if I just put. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay that right on top of there. Look at that. Guys, how cute. I think, uh, I didn't get this from there, but they do carry 
um, the little stands like this. I don't know if it's exactly like this, but little stands that you can put your candle in. I know they do carry them on there. There we go. But I mean, look how cute already. Adorable. Okay, so now we just got my Easter eggs. And these I got at Michael's. Actually, guys, Michael's now, all their Easter stuff is 50% off. So if you still need Easter, even spring, um, all the florals and all that are 50% off in Michael's. I know, Carol, I feel the same way. Yikes, it's a mess. But what else could you use? There is nothing. There is nothing. All right, so while I'm doing this, let me just glue a little bit of the moss just to get it to stick down just like that and I'm not going to glue this here this onto here because I might want to take that out I'm just just gluing the moss a little bit just so it sticks down a little bit okay so now let's just take some of our eggs and I think I want to use I love the green ones right here let me show you that right there Let's move that here. I love the green. I got those green. I have, what else is in here? I love it that they're speckled like this. And the yellow. Thank you, Linda. Prayers for everybody. Gosh, and if any, if any one of you have some loved ones there, prayers for them. How, how devastating. I don't even know. The last time the camp was up to 24 people who have passed away. It just, just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. All right, so let's see what we're going to use. Um, I'm not going to use the pink, guys, I don't think, today. I'm just going to use these colors right here. And I don't know if these might too, these ones might be a little bit too big. So let's see what these are going to look like. Okay, we're going to put those in there. And I'm just going to place them. Let's see. Whoop. I put, oh, yeah, put some by the, by the light. And there. And maybe one there. Oh, no, that might be too much. Okay, so let's start putting them in. Oh, my glue gun. What look cute with a bunny in it? I thought that too, Terry, but I don't have a bunny. <laughs> Maybe when I get a bunny, a bunny right here, I think would be nice. But I was, to be truthful, I was just going to come on and show you my haul. But I'm like, oh, I want to make something with this cast iron thing. So I did think of a bunny, Terry. I just do not have a bunny. A small bunny, anyway. I have big wooden bunnies. I just didn't have a small bunny. So, um... I need to go to Michael's. I need to get some other florals. So maybe when I do, I will get a small bunny and put him there. And that would be really cute. And then that would be for Easter. And then all I have to do is after Easter's, take the money out and it could just be spring. All right, so let's put this, this guy in here. There we go. And look how cute, just this little cast iron thing. Just adorable. Okay, and let's get this blue one here. And then I also have some little teeny flowers, just like that, that I want to throw in there. Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, let's put him in there. This will be cute, too. Oh, look how, can you guys, can you see the smoke from my glue gun? Holy, it's uh, really, really hot. All right, so let me see. Now, I have, these are just some little, um, like baby's breath. Yeah, they're baby's breath. Look how pretty. And I just thought just sticking some baby's breath in there might be pretty too. All right, let me get my scissors. Oh, my scissors, my wire cutters. And I'm going to just stick some baby's breath in there. I thought that would be pretty. In between the eggs. Yeah. So let's just glue some down. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Mary. Thanks, everybody, for joining me on this Saturday. I appreciate it. I know, you know, Saturdays are a busy day with your family and your friends and stuff like that. So I appreciate that you're on with me today. And if you wouldn't mind also leaving, you know, don't forget to say hello. Remember, if you don't say anything to me, if you just sit back and watch, Facebook does not, won't think that you're interested in my video. And not just me, anybody who you like to watch. And um, they won't put, put, you know, give you notifications. So it's just an FYI about that. So just say hello. And then you will get notifications that I'm going to be live. Unless, guys, I'm also, just let me know. I did put in the, um, it should be down below. There should be a link for my, um, my Telegram page. Telegram channel. It's a channel. Um, so let me know if it's down there. Give me some hearts or put hearts in the comments if there is a link for my Telegram channel down below. 
before I go telling everybody to go look there, let me make sure it's still there or make sure it is there. And this way, if you're not, if you do not belong to my Telegram channel, please go join it. And then this way, you always will get a notification of when I'm coming live. Oh, it's down there. Good. Alrighty. Great. All right. Good. Guys, if you don't belong to my Telegram channel, the link is right down there below. And that's where you will get notifications every time I'm going live. 99% of the time. There might be one. There is one time I forgot to put it. <gasps> I apologize. Well, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello, Rosie. All right. So it looks cute. Yeah, I think it looks cute with a little flower coming out of there just like that. So let's cut another one. And we'll put some more in there. And these also, these you can get. I did get these at Michael's. I paid the 40% off, but now they're 50% off. Now, this, their sale, I think, is only this week coming up. So... um. If you, if you need this stuff, um, go and grab it. Prayers for Australia, too. Okay, I didn't know anything about Australia, but let me know. Um, did something happen? But they Australia will be in our prayers. Thank you for letting us know. <gasps> Brenda, you have a lot of mini cast iron pans? Oh, good. Then you can make something like this. And this can be just, you can make this for any, um, any, any, um, holiday season you can make this fourth of july could you imagine some little flags and stuff like that sticking out of it <gasps> thank you carolyn thank you i appreciate that thank you so much no, no, that's not gonna work too big thank you for the stars everyone that really helps my um small business um to keep it to keep it afloat okay help me keep, keep my small business afloat hey debbie hicks how are you Thanks for coming on. Oh, you still cook with the cast iron? I have a cast iron pot too. I have one. I don't know. It's not. It's not an antique. It's um, a lodge. L o d g e, and um, and I do love it. This is too big. This is too big. I do love my lodge pot. What did I make out of there, guys? I made something in there. Um, oh, the cinnamon apple. Those cinnamon apple donut things. Oh my God, they were so good in the cast iron. They were delicious. Look how cute this is looking, guys. Let me just show you. Let me just bring it up real quick in case you can't see. <gasps> Look how adorable that's looking. So cute. And let's just get a little flowers right there. And then what I'm going to do, I just want to put a little tag. Excuse me, guys. I still have my allergies. And um, sometimes my throat after a while. Anybody, anybody getting these allergies this year so far? It's bad here in New Jersey, and oh my goodness. Um, it, it, they're much better than they were, but boy, oh boy. There we go. Okay, so I just put some glue there, and let's stick a little bit of that right in there. <gasps> Look how darn cute that is, guys. Let me just show you. <gasps> Look, from a little cast iron pot that we got from the estate sale for a dollar. Look how cute. Now remember, this candle will stay lit like this for four hours. And, you know, right now, if it was not, if it was sunny, then I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't keep it on. But I'd probably put this on maybe about six, seven o'clock. And then it would stay on for four hours. And how cute that's going to be in my kitchen. But let me show you what I want to put a tag on it. So let's get a tag going real quick. And that's going to look cute hanging off of there. So let me show you. I just have just these... Just these cardstock ones. Yep, allergies are no fun. I really never had them this bad. I'm, I'm telling you, first I thought I had a cold because I've really never had them this bad. All right, so th of course this is too big. So I'm going to cut this in a quarter. All I want to write on there is the word spring. So we're going to cut this. And I know, I'm just going to use these scissors right here, even though they've got glue stuck to them. There we go. And I just want it. I just want this much. And I still think that's going to be too big. Uh, actually, let me just show you the letters that I'm using real quick. These are letters that I got from Hobby Lobby. Right there, they're stamps. And then I, I just want to make sure that all the letters were there. Just in, I didn't think I had any missing, but then you never know. <laughs> let me just make sure. Let's see how big. Okay, yeah, I don't need it this big. All right, so let's cut this a little bit more. Just like that. There we go. Now, of course... 
I don't need this on there. Well, we'll just cut it. We'll just cut it off. We don't need that big of the wire on there. These I just get on um, Amazon, guys. They come in, a, I think, 50 in a shot. So you have to buy 50 of them, but they're, but they're pretty cheap. All right, so before we do that, of course, we got to age it up. Let's put archival ink on there in the ground espresso. And who, who, let's see who said that. And we have Michelle. Michelle, you have the allergies too? Uh, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. Holy moly. It's just crazy. Just crazy. It's getting better, but... We haven't even begun really allergy season here in New Jersey yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. I think coming, like coming on down the road. All right, so we're just, there we go. We're just going to make this tag look like it's as old as this cast iron skillet. And see what I mean? There we go. And now it's looking old. Good afternoon, Juanita. How are you? Hello, Sonia. Hello, Debbie. And when I want to get the edges really bad, I just hold it like that. And see now, see now the edges are getting really dark. I want the edges real dark. I want this to look super duper old. Guys, I looked it up the other day. Do you know I got this ink pad almost a year ago and it's still, and you know how much I use this ground um, espresso pretty much every day. <laughs> and it still has lots of ink. So it's, it's, it's worth its money. I just wanted to see, somebody was asking me if I had the link to it. And I buy it on Amazon. It comes in a four pack. It comes in the black, the gray, this Grand Espresso, and vintage photo. So there's four great colors. Four great colors. And um, I think it's $20. So it's so they're about $5 a piece. <gasps> what kind of brush is this? This is called, I call it a dabber. Um, it's, it's an ink, it's an ink applying brush. I call it a dabber. I don't know what everybody else calls it, but look, ah, does that look vintagey or what? Let me just put a little bit in the back there too. We want the back to look old. Guys, see my turning turntable one day this week, we are going to redo it and we're going to do a resin pour on it. So we're going to see what happens with a resin pour. Um, if it lasts when you do projects on them. So we'll see. So this week, stay tuned for a resin pour on this. Hello from Portugal. Hello, Dora. How are you? Thanks for joining. All right, so look, look at that. That looks old, ladies. All right, and gentlemen, if there were some gentlemen on here, I apologize. All right, so uh, let's get the spring going. Okay, so we have S and just ink it up. I don't know if I should do this. I might want to do it in black. It might show off a little bit more in black. Let me see. Okay, so the black that comes in the, in the four pack is called Black Soot. Ink Blotter by Tim Holtz. Is that what he calls it, an ink blotter? Okay, ink blotter. Tim Holtz calls it an ink blotter. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I did not know exactly what it was called. Okay, so let me just see what... See, right now I'm just testing it out. And I want to see what my S is going to look like. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in the black because the, the it's gonna because I have all this ground espresso here. It's kind of gonna make it look. Um, it's gonna blend it in. So I'm taking black soot, guys, and that's one of the ones that are in that four pack. It's black soot, ground espresso, um, a gray, and vintage photo. So all four colors, and they're only five dollars a piece for these large sizes. So you can't beat that. And just joining from Cherry Hill. Hello, Carol Martin. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. All right, so let's do the spring S. Now remember, this doesn't have to be perfect because this is supposed to look like, you know, the spring was just written in there. What well, doesn't, doesn't need to be perfect. Is that a P? Yeah. I got another P. It comes with two P's. Don't know. I don't know why. Which one? I think I'm going to use this one. All right. I don't know why. This set comes with two different P's. I guess a, a, a capital P and a smaller P. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. P. R. S. P. 
R. I. And G. What do you make your crap? What do you do with the crafts I make? Well, I, I, a lot of times I give them to my sisters. Um, uh, my give it to, I have two stores. I don't have two stores. There's a store in my town um, that I give them to to sell, and one of them. And my nephew has a booth, and he sells them for me. So that's what I do with them, or I keep them. Like this is a, this I'm going to keep. Okay, and then we just need a G, guys. See, and it says right tells you the letters right there. Um, these I don't scuff. These are fine, um, but if the IOD stamps, <laughs> there's my sister Kerry, see? She says she gives them to me. <laughs> I do, I do, and, and ha happily I give them to her. <gasps> so look, guys. Spring, how cute is that? Kerry, this you cannot have. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's funny, because me, me and my sister Kerry, you know, she'll she'll put something in her house and she'll have it for a little while and she gets sick of it and the lecture she goes, You want it for your house? I'm like, Yeah, I'll take it and I'll put it in my house for a little while. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so there we go. All right, so then I want to take I know I have just have some this is just cheesecloth. This is just some ripped fabric from a project. You have a great yes, I do have a great sister, and I'm blessed, Terry. I sure am. I am blessed to have her, absolutely. I told her yesterday, she's my favorite sister. No, <laughs> one of my favorite sisters, I have two sisters. So, she's one of my favorite sisters. <clears throat> okay, so, I'm just cutting this a little bit, this is a little bit too thick for me. This is just cheesecloth, you can find cheesecloth anywhere, guys. Anywhere, anywhere. There we go. I think you can even find cheesecloth in Walmart. All right, so I'm just cutting it because I think it's a little too thick. <gasps> oh, Terry, you see what my sister said? <laughs> yes, she is lucky to have, have me as a sister. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Carrie, you're funny. All right, all right, so let's put this on. There we go, and we're gonna tie it together with this ribbon. Nothing fancy. This is shabby, rustic shabby chic. This is all this is. Not supposed to be, you know, totally crazy with all kinds of stuff going on. I think this is a little too long, so let's cut it. And this is a little too long. I'm gonna cut that end just like that. And let's put the tag on it. I'm gonna hold on. And let's put the tag through. Hello, Francis. Hello, Shirley. How are you? Thanks for joining us today here on, and if guys, if you're new to the page, my name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's, and make sure you follow me. We would love to have you come back and become a fancy friend. There we go. Look how cute that looks. <gasps> Spring. Now, I just don't know. There might be, hold on. I'm just wondering if I just take a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I'm just taking a little bit of this. There's a little, there's a little hole right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my cheesecloth. And I'm just gonna put it in here, guys. And so it'll tie the two together. And just give it a little, give a little interest. Put a little cheesecloth in there too. Oh, my fingers with the glue. There we go. I think that looks cute. Just like that. And I think I might put a little bit. And just maybe just stick a little bit right in there. There we go. You could do this with lace. You could do it with any kind of fabric. Just stick a little fabric in different places and it just gives it a little bit more something, something, something else to look at inside your project, a little bit more interest. There we go. That looks cute, and I just don't know. I think I need one more egg in here. Yeah, that's what it needs. That's what it needs, but I don't know if I want blue. Hold on. Let's see what color it needs, guys. Maybe I will put a peach one in there. Let's see. Let's see. They have this peach one. Yeah, there we go. That is it. That is what it needs. 
So let me turn you around and let me show you guys real quick. There we go. <gasps> Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Look how cute guys, right? Little tag that says spring, little cast iron pot. Voila, isn't that adorable? And then for the seasons, all you have to do is change it out, take your eggs out. Um, Fourth of July, add some flags. Like what is, what's the next holiday after that? I think it's Memorial Day. You can put flags in here, change out your, your tag, make it red, white, and blue. Um, and it would be so darn stinking cute. Hello, Vin Vincenza. I don't know if I, Vin Vincenta, I don't know if I saw you come in. So hello. Hello, Helena. How are you? You love it? Good. Terry says, Bella. Thank you, sweet friend. Angie Champagne says, it's so cute. Lynn loves it. Thank you. I know. Isn't it cute? Carrie, what do you think? What do you think? I think it looks adorable. So I'm going to put this in my kitchen. No, actually, I'm going to put this on my bay window. So at night, the little candle will be flickering. And I just love it that these candles are on a timer. So just remember, um, if you want to purchase it, I can put, if, you, if, if you're interested, private message me if these candles and I can, I can give you her, her exact link. She's out of Pennsylvania and um, she ships and um, it, they're just wonderful. Hello, Nancy. Thank you. All right, everybody. I will let you go. Thank you for joining me today on my um, estate sale haul. Yeah, I got some. So we, all these projects here, we are going to be having fun with. We're going to be using them periodically in the upcoming weeks and making all good stuff with them. So it's going to be fun. Um, so everybody, if you could please keep our fancy friends in your prayers. We have a fancy friend. Her name is Nora. She just had surgery on her arm and um, everything went well, but boy, she's in pain. She is in a severe, severe pain. Her name is Nora. So if you can keep Nora in our prayers, um, I would so, so appreciate it. And also please make, remember, keep Terry's granddaughter in your prayers and um, keep Sharon in your prayers. I would appreciate that also. And then also, we really need to keep the people from Mississippi in our prayers. They need us more than ever. Um, I'm sure um, as the time goes on and and there, there's so many people that are still missing, I just heard. So uh, hopefully um, they will find them alive. And we just hope so. We have to give them prayers. Thank you, Amory. I appreciate it. Everybody, thank you for the prayers. Um, put it on a doily. Yes, I got to put it on one of my doilies. Yay. I love when I find doilies. If, if that's the only thing I find at a state sale, I feel like, wow. <laughs> You're welcome, Terry. She's in our prayers all the time. Prayers for Nora, yes. Nora, uh, from the, and her, Nora's um, uh, business page is called The Blessed Dragon. If you don't know who she is, um, go on her page and give her a follow. She would love that. Oh, you're welcome, Dora. All right, everybody, I will let you go. Thank you for spending your Saturday with me. I so appreciate it. And um, um, I probably won't be on tomorrow. It's sat Sunday. Sunday is family day time for church and family and, you know, to catch up on all the things you need to catch up on before you start your next week. All right. So more than likely I'll be on Monday, but you never know. I might put a, um, a, uh, recorded video on there. So if you see a recorded video, um, please go and like that too. I know we all love Nora. She's, she's so sweet, but she is in severe pain. She, uh, I messaged her this morning. And, um, so she said, please, please, please keep me in your prayers. So I, Told her we, us fancy friends sure will. And Australia needs them too, Chaunacy. Okay, everybody, please keep Australia in in uh in your prayers too. All right, everybody. Ah, uh, I feel so blessed to have all you here um, every day with me. And um, I do not take it for granted. I don't. Um, I love you all. And um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I so appreciate it. All right, everybody. Mwah. Have a blessed rest of your day.